very, very tough is the tornado touchdown area in Vero Beach, the Vero Palm Estates area, Paradise Park and Countryside. More than 20 homes damaged, some of them severely, no injury reports, but a tough night, a night of relocation for people and picking up their lives. That's right. Kelly Dunn is actually anchoring from the field there. She filed this report just a few moments ago with one of her Facebook apps. Check it out. I'm in Vero Palm Estates. This is Flamingo Drive North. This is the main drag in this mobile home community, and this clearly is the path of the tornado, and you can tell by the outrageous damage all around us. This home, windows blown out, siding ripped off, the roof has been damaged, there's, there's no roof left on the garage. I mean, it's absolutely unlivable. Across the street, you see this so many times when you're talking about tornadoes, and especially when you're dealing with, with metal siding that is ripped off and wrapped around the trees. This courthouse, we just saw the homeowner boarding up uh, one of the windows that was uh, blown out. Uh, you can see people's belongings scattered on the street. Here they're cutting some plywood, getting ready to secure what they can and, and in order to be able to live here tonight. Uh, let's walk down the Regent Street just a little bit, and you can just see, as I know I mentioned earlier, and it's a term you so often hear in disasters like this, but this is this, the war zone you talk about, again, the siding wrapped around. You can see how the storm blew through. It picked up all of the debris, wrapped it around these trees, and went on to the next one. This home over here to my left suffered severe damage, windows are blown out right now, the homeowners are here, it's raining, and the homeowners are up on the roof trying to secure, uh, you know, some tarps. Uh, their neighbors next door already have tarps on their roof. Home Depot was out getting some to the sheriff's office, so I know they were distributing some today. But it, it really is astounding to see the lives that were changed within a matter of minutes. Uh, the tornado, we're told, touched down here, clearly went down this street, down Flamingo, went over into Countryside, a neighboring mobile home park, and then crossed, according to what law enforcement is telling us, State Road 60 and went into Paradise Park, um, all around 11 o'clock this morning. Right now, the fire department is still out here. They had already gone door to door. They went door to door. They wanted to make sure everybody in the home were safe. The sheriff today at his news conference said it, it, said it was a miracle. No one was hurt. No one was hurt. At least 30 homes damaged or destroyed. No one was hurt. Uh, but right now, even though power has been restored to uh, this whole area, there there had been traffic lights that were out on State Road 60. That, that All the power is back on. But what the fire department is doing is now going into individual homes and saying, okay, if you have any electrical damage, we want to cut your power because we don't want any other problems to creep up because the power is back on. I actually saw someone's light on their, their coach light outside their home a little while ago. So again, this the hardest hit part of this community. Um, when you first drive in to Vero Palm Estate and you go down the first road off to the right, not a single home was touched. Uh, you know, it, it's just the, the nature of tornadoes that depending on where your house is and if it's in the direct path of that storm, you're going to experience some hardship. And that's what these people are going through tonight. Kelly Dunn from Vero Beach Estates tonight. We've